Hello, I'm John Popham. I use video and social media to tell stories about people doing good works in the community. I'm in Cardiff where last night I was working at the Cardiff City Stadium with Work Council for Voluntary Action on the youth engagement event. Met some lovely people there and some fantastic young people doing fabulous work in their local communities. But what I wanted to talk about in this video was digital exclusion. Now on Tuesday this week I was in the Radio Leeds studio doing a regular tech hour thing that I do now um, where we take listeners questions about technology and it was a great hour and I'm really convinced there is much more potential to get across to people who are not okay with technology using local radio because they might not do stuff online but they also might listen to local radio. So anyway at the end of the session, as I was leaving, the producer, Kim, called me over and said, we've got a lady on the line who hasn't managed to get through in time to be on air, but she's looking for ways to get started with technology. She knows nothing about smartphones, computers, and she wants to know where she should start. So I said, well, I would advise her to go to her local library. So Kim went back to the phone and said to the lady, have you got a local library? Anyway. It turned out the lady didn't know where her local library was, so Kim Googled it for her. Found out that she did have a local library. It had very restricted opening hours. And also it's run by volunteers, because that's the way in some places library services have got now. The library services have been cut back so, so much that in many places they can only be kept open by volunteers. And that reminded me of another story that I read, in the, read online the other day, that in the last few years, 4,000 public computers have disappeared from libraries and job centres. And that just says to me, what are people supposed to do? We haven't got computers at home, we don't know how to use computers, where can they go? Where can they go to use a computer? Where can they go to get the advice they need? More and more services are being put online these days. And the public infrastructure that helps those people who are not able to afford, or are not convinced of the need to have a computer at home, those services are disappearing. 4,000 public computers have gone. Now I think that's a scandal. We need free public computers available for people to use who haven't got computers in their home. Otherwise, people are going to be severely disadvantaged by services being put online. So I say is, what can we do to, to address that deficit? of those 4,000 public computers that have been lost. Tell me in the comments below what you think we can do to get more freely available public computers out in the community. And while you're here, please do me a favour, please hit the subscribe button down below this video if you're not already subscribed to my channel. I'm getting closer and closer to 1,000 subscribers but still some way to go. I need 1,000 subscribers because YouTube restricts the functionality of accounts less than a thousand subscribers a new rule that was introduced last year so please please subscribe please tell your friends and please also have another look at the other ways of supporting me and my work in the description down below thanks for watching it's a bit of a grey day here in Cardiff but um, I am about to go and get a train back home have a good day.